the grant allowed me to complete them because they had gotten to a point where I just wasn't quite sure how to finish all these. They're all kind of related and they're all, they were all sort of in a half state of doneness. And by getting the grant to put the show up, it was like I had this big push to finish these things and get them done and get them framed and get them matted and get, and then to do the other work that goes with them, which was these more recent ones, to tell, finish telling the story about what they're about. So by having some funding, it was really important to get them out from under the bed and start finish because these are kind of collages. They're little plates cut up and glued together. So each one is an individual piece, not like any other, but similar. And so I had them, they were just kind of hanging over me. It's like, oh my gosh, how am I ever going to finish that project? And so when you get a goal like this show, it really helps. <laughs> and also just the fact that getting all the supplies for the show cost me, well, I was just saying, the, the whole cost that I put into both of these, the book and all these, was almost $2,000. So I wouldn't have felt like I could put that much money in just to, just because. So to be ha having some financial help really makes it possible. And this is my first little, this was my first letterpress piece. And it sort of became the, the, the title piece. <laughs> it was the one I did before I started doing the, the text for the book. Um, because I had to experiment with how to do the letterpress and with, with an illustration. So that was that. And then that sort of led me into finishing up these other landscape pieces that tell their own stories about our land being so flat. I think somebody asked me uh, the other day if I did paintings of art about lakes. I said, no, because I don't live by a lake. I, I have to do what I see every day that goes into my head and is always there. So that's what these are about, is that language that you see. And this one particularly, uh, this was the beginning of, this was the first piece where I was experimenting with this linear landscape text thing. And it has to do with driving down the highway, stopping at different places on my way home, and then turning down our road, and what you see as you drive down, and then there's the backside of our homestead, and that's our little chicken shed, and then you drive around and there's a the house, which you don't see, but the piece is called Way Home. So that was the first one that I did that had these kind of this kind of language, I guess. And then these are some of the last pieces, more recent pieces, where I was getting more into almost like book page. This I see as a little illustrated, illuminated book page, even though it's just all landscape. So I called it runic plain script, because it's like little runes. And this one is uh, plain writing. And then this is uh, more back to the little cuts with the lines of trees. And back to the letter press, this was one that I just finished this year, which is almost like a little story on a page, one story on one page. So Would you like to say anything else to the Arts Council? I would like to thank the Arts Council for, first of all, encouraging me to, to, to apply for the grant because I probably, being somewhat humble, <laughs> wouldn't have thought that my project was worthy, but uh, when I see how it has pushed me and gotten me out here and gotten this show, it's the first big show I've had in many, many years, and it's really good for me to get me out into the public and get me doing art uh, more seriously again. So um, these grants are very important, really important for people who don't have their own resources really to do it. and need a little, a big push. So thanks for that.